All right, we are looking for that lost castle, that lost 1,300-year-old castle. And I would expect to see stones in the vicinity, stones and earthworks. We saw a bit of that in Tomonura, I think I showed you. And here's another practical example from my metal detecting trip across the river. Went across the river to Bingo Nakayama Castle. Now Bingo Nakayama Castle is only 700 years old, so roughly half the age of our lost castle. Now immediately I cross the river and come down off this high embankment road and bingo highly skilled shaped stones of expensive granite put to very marginal low value use and that's what I like to see that means I'm getting near the old castle I'm getting warm now the way to the castle looks like this and I'm going up the back way because my friend lives over there and as I get closer through the little village here's a, a modest house built on a very fine foundation those stones are irregular so they're all cut by hand they are blocks, solid blocks, not veneer, not tile, so all very expensive. Granite blocks lining the road here. Oh, granite blocks just everywhere. We're winding up around the backside of the mountain, and there's a lot of contour here. The the earth just rises up in these neatly shaped earthworks. So there's your earthworks and a lot of stones. This is my friend's house. My friend's house is over a hundred years old, well over. And this is her rice husker. That's a rice husker. Still operational. They built well. Back in the day, they built things to last. Didn't build built-in obsolescence. The stones pile up more and more. We are getting really warm. We're getting hot. Very stone rich now. We're just in a scenery of cut castle stones, as if these things cost nothing. Or, or, somebody else paid for them. And now we go up the mountain and there are no stones, none at all. Whatever stone was used up there, it's all been taken down and recycled. Now you go a hundred meters north or south of here and the stones peter out. They disperse. So this is the pattern that we hope to see as we approach Mount Zhao. We're going to see more and more stones and larger and larger stones to the point where they are so plentiful that they are being used in very marginal, low-value applications. And this will be a good sign to me, in my opinion, that we are getting closer, getting warmer, to a large source of cut stones that someone else paid for. Now, somebody asked me, what is a tiger's mouth? What the heck is that? Well, I'll be happy to tell you that soon. But I think tomorrow will be our 
second weekly witness feature, eyewitness of the Hebegon, the Japanese Bigfoot. And I want to take you around Fukuyama Castle. I took a lot of photos there. And I think I'll do a little music video for the Princess Festival. The Princess Festival of Princess Day, where every girl is a princess for a day to celebrate all of our princesses here. We love you and honor you, ladies. I took Camera Girl to Tomonora to meet with some people. We walked around and looked at the princess displays and the town. Now, Princess Camera Girl actually took most of those photos all by herself. So you'll see our day from mostly from her perspective. So those things are coming up, God willing. Okay, I hope you're having a good week. And I love you. Bye-bye. That's the strangest darn fish I've ever seen. <laughs>